what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so gail weathers courtney cox was recently on the drew barrymore show where she caught up with her former co-star who starred in the original scream in the opening kill as casey becker she caught up with her on the drew barrymore show barrymore show and she gave a slight update and tease what we can expect from screen five and what this new film will be about in ways not anything really specific so i'm just going to share my thoughts on what i think she meant when she was asked and when she teased uh basically the direction that this is going in we're all of course calling this screen five but this is what she stated she stated that this is the fifth one it's not screen five though cox explained to barrymore this is scream the directors are incredible they're making it absolutely it's a new franchise cox continued it's hip it's scary it's just a new scream it's not a reboot it's not a remake it's just a brand new launch so my whole thing there is many of you who saw that or heard what she said not all of you but of course many of you were possibly thrown off well if it's not scream 5 but it's also not a remake and or not a reboot what is it then she's saying it's a new launch so i'll try to explain what i think this whole franchise has been about sydney prescott and her trauma due to her mother's actions uh as a result of her own trauma from her assault in hollywood that has spawned many different people going after sydney prescott blaming they're blaming her mother's actions on her and taking their anger out on their their anger towards her mother on her in many different ways in many different fashions all under the costume of ghostface all under the ghostface costume that's what all these four films have been about sydney prescott being targeted by someone who wants her dead or wants to be basically become her uh referencing screen four there with that last statement they just all want to get back at her for something they feel that she has taken from them that has been the formula for scream since its inception now what's going to happen here uh is we're going to get something that's a breath of fresh air in ways sydney prescott will not be the only one getting targeted by ghostface she will not be the only soul final girl she will be a final girl that will be joined by two new final girls the carpenter sisters uh jenna ortega and melissa barrera they are starring in this film as a set of sisters who we know will we're presuming anyway that they'll be at the center of this new ghostface killing spree i did also just want to touch on something jenna ortega recently had a post on instagram that she quickly uploaded and deleted because apparently it was like a behind the scenes photo and it was very reminiscent of the opening shot of a house that we saw back when screen 5 started filming out in wilmington north carolina so what i'm thinking is that of course jenna ortega will be in the opening sequence but she'll make it out alive she'll just be the opening attack and what will happen is we'll follow this this young girl similar to the way we followed sydney prescott and the killing sprees will be surrounding this carpenter family dynamic sydney prescott is not going to be the focus of this new killing spree sydney prescott is going to be traveling to woodsboro after something happens with this new killing spree that gets her interest or that gets her attention and makes her go to town to presumably help figure out what's going on and help these young girls because she's been in their positions she'll end up learning some new things about herself presumably because again that's the ultimate thing that will happen in the end that's probably the safest bet sydney will come to town and the killers while they didn't intend to actually go after sydney prescott her coming to town will just be a bonus because they have something against her too it's just not that big of a deal that they want to go target her they're targeting the carpenter sisters for reasons that we'll find out once they're revealed once we find out who the killers are that is why this is not screen five according to courtney cox that is what i think she means when she's saying this is not screen five because it's not following the same formula where it's sydney prescott versus a killer with a motive against just sydney prescott this is now a film where it's going to be paving or carving a path to introduce new audiences and it's introducing a whole new list of characters that will hopefully make it out alive a good chunk of them anyway should make it out alive those that are made it made to feel important for the narrative progression will make it out alive sydney will be the person that comes to town to assist and she'll ultimately find herself at the center of it all with these young women while she tries to help them figure out who is targeting them and what's happening in the town of woodsboro 
So she's not just going to be the sole final girl and it's not just going to be all about her anymore. That is why Courtney Cox, in my opinion, is stating this film is not Scream 5. It is what it's being called, which is just Scream. Now, to you and I, that's still Scream 5 because you're not ignoring any of the other films. You're not making this a direct sequel to the original and you're not ignoring the things that have come before anything that we have expected to occur in this one everything is seemingly being remained canon uh we know we have the mocker house coming back but we also know that Sidney prescott will be taking a back seat in some way or another when it comes to having all the attention on her when it comes to these ghost face killing sprees she will not be the only one that this is about it'll be these carpenter sisters featuring Sidney prescott that is exactly the formula that i am expecting for screen five that is why Gail Weathers, Courtney Cox, stated what she stated. Also, the other reason she stated what she stated is, of course, not to give away any specifics related to the story. I'm just now speculating on what this could mean. That's my opinion on the whole thing. Uh, it wasn't something that was too overly confusing, in my opinion. I just, I was just now reading between the lines of what we know and what we should obviously be expecting as to why someone would not consider this Scream 5, especially coming from someone who has participated in all the other films since this series inception when it, the first film dropped back in 1996. The formula has been the same. It's always been Sydney and a new Ghostface killer and her friends, Gail and Dewey, helping her figure out what is going on. That's not going to be the same thing that happens this time. It's going to be shades of that but you're not the target anymore, primarily, Sydney. It's going to be these two new young women that you will somehow find some investment in what's going on with them. You'll come to Woodsboro and you will help them figure out what is going on, only to find out that these killers also have a gripe with you. Since you came to town, that gripe will be fulfilled. They did not have a primary gripe with you, though. You will just now be an accessory to this since you decided to come to town. That is exactly what I think is going to happen and why Courtney Cox does not consider this to be Scream 5 because it's shaking things up a bit in terms of the formula and what we've gotten in the past. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.